last night all the way here in Tulsa. I don't know if I was I woke up because of it or I woke up yeah. right before, but I thought eh, another earthquake. <laughs> so when the earthquake happened, did you know it was an earthquake going on? I, I was pretty sure because the house felt the same kind of mm -hmm. same shaking as it felt during previous earthquakes. And I thought oh, I'll check on that in the morning for now. Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. Going back to bed. Yeah, just an earthquake. <laughs> we'll just go back to sleep. Yep. It's just part of normal life time. here. Yeah, in Oklahoma. Now, as far as your weather today, this is a day that's not going to be a complete washout. But if you do want to go for a bicycle ride, if you do want to play outside tomorrow and especially Wednesday will be better days for that. As we'll see occasional light to moderate rain today, all the rain will be gone tomorrow, but the clouds will remain main and then sunshine for Wednesday and temps reaching into the 70s. Now here's a check on your hourly weather for today. It looks a little ominous when you see rain, rain, rain and rain 11 through 8. This will be occasional rain, so not a washout here in Tulsa, but you're going to see some rain as we go throughout the day. So just take an umbrella with you. Maybe you're going out to lunchtime or maybe this afternoon picking up your family from school. There will be these occasional batches of rain and temps in the 50s. Storm Shield radar shows we have light rain advancing its way into the state, though we're dry right now in Tulsa. So if you do have any plans in which you want dry weather, the morning will be the driest part of our day. There is a little bit of rain which has moved through Oklahoma City, also some showers near Stillwater. The bulk of our local rain is down toward McAllister, making its way on top of Lake Eufaula into Eufaula. This is approaching Interstate 40, so if you live closer toward Shakota, Vianne, Weber's Falls, and into Gore, you'll have increasing rain as you go throughout the morning. That rain is also advancing toward Muskogee. Now, if you have a road trip into Texas, it is going to rain all day in East Texas from near Texarkana through Dallas to Tyler and Longview. So extremely wet into East Texas. That rain is spreading its way into Arkansas. Now, we're not going to have to worry about any icy roads as the temps will be above freezing. As expected, the temperature has now warmed up above freezing in Bartlesville as the clouds thicken. It's now 35. Last hour, you were at 31. Priors at 42. Muskogee Ogie 45, Ogmogi also in the mid 40s, Chandler at 48 and 46 right now in Eufaula. So a dry morning here in Tulsa, but increasing rain as we go throughout the morning and especially the afternoon. Temp right now is at 43. Now here's a look at the future track and we're going to show you the specifics on the timing of the rain. Lunchtime today, you can see batches of light rain in northeastern Oklahoma. Less rain is going to fall toward Ponca City and also into southeastern Kansas. At 5 p.m. today, occasional batches of rain still making their way across eastern Oklahoma with the trend heavier rain toward I-40 and southeastern Oklahoma. Most of the rain ends by midnight and by the time you wake up in the morning we will be dry though the roads will still be wet. The actual rain will be done. We'll have cloudy skies. You can see the clouds gradually trying to clear out tomorrow but we'll have to wait until Wednesday before we enjoy full sunshine. As far as your temps today, Nawada 56 also will see mid 50s into Bartlesville, Owasso and Sand Springs in the mid 50s. Notice temperatures will be warmer where it will will be drier toward Ponca City and southeastern Oklahoma. Here in Tulsa and Broken Arrow, we'll see temps in the mid-50s, Shakota, Salisaw in the lower 50s. The coolest weather today will be where the rain is heaviest in southeastern Oklahoma. A check on your seven-day forecast shows that drier weather returns tomorrow. We'll also have warmer temps up to 63 on Tuesday, up to 70 on Wednesday. Now looking ahead toward your weekend, not a gully washer, not a washout, but we'll be tracking some showers for you by Friday and your Saturday. Libby? All right, thank you, George. Let's take a look.